hello friends in this video we are going to be looking at a simple method of color grading in adobe photoshop using gradient map this is twisted creative alarbi man is my name if it's your first time on this channel please do me a favor do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button not just hitting that subscribe button also ring that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the next video without wasting much time let's get into it this is the image you are going to be using you have to click on the adjustment layer icon here and choose gradient map then we'll go to the opacity here and change it to 30%. Go to blend mode here and choose soft light. We can double click on this box to bring out the gradient editor. For the gradient type, we have to change it from solid to noise. We have to bring down the roundness to zero for smoother transition. So we have to make sure that this restrict colors is checked. Then we have to start clicking on randomize. Immediately you start clicking on this randomize now, you notice that we have different color grades coming out. So you have to make your choice from there. So we have to start by clicking on randomize now. Have to start randomizing and as you can see, the image will start changing. So you have to choose your color grade from here. So I think this one is okay. There's no need to go further. Okay, let's still check and I think there are some other ones. Okay, this one is okay let's hit okay for this for now let's see the before and after this is before and this is after this is before this is after it's a very little change the contrast of this original image is better than the one that we have with the color for us to make the image pop we have to introduce contrast to this image to make it stand out how can we go about that so we have to start by clicking on the adjustment layer icon and choose hue and saturation we are not going to change any settings here, rather we'll go to the blend mode and choose color bond. Then we are going to change the color bond, the fill to 10%, not the opacity, the fill. So we're going to change it to 10% and hit OK. Then we'll click on the adjustment layer again and choose hue and saturation for the second time. Then we'll go to the blend mode and choose color bond. Then after choosing the color bond, we'll go to the fill and change it to 10%. And hit OK. So if you take a look at this image now, the image has popped out. So let's see. This is let's see before the contrast. Okay, let's select this first contrast and the second one and use Ctrl G to place them in a group. Now we have the contrast in a group. So this is before and this is after. This is before and this is after. You see the great difference. So let's see the before and after let's close this first so this is before the color grading and this is after the color grading then let's add the contrast this is overall after then let's hold our alt so let's disable this eye icon here to see the general before so this is general before and this is general after so we have to move to the next image which is this we are going to apply the same settings to this, but we are going to use different color grade to see how it's going to look on this. So we have to go to the adjustment layer and choose gradient map. Then we'll change the opacity to 30%. Then we'll change the blend mode to soft light. Then we are going to double click on this box to bring out the gradient editor. For the gradient type, we are going to change it from solid to noise. Then for the roundness, we are going to change it from 50% down to 0% for smoother transition. Then we're going to make sure this street colors is checked. Then we have to start clicking on randomize. But before we start clicking on randomize, why don't us go and bring in the contrast? Let's hit OK here first. Let's bring in the contrast stuff here. So this is the contrast group. We have to drag it and drop it on the second one. And we have to drop it on top. So this is it. Then let's click on the adjustment layer, the gradient adjustment layer, not the layer max. This is the layer max and this is the adjustment layer icon. So we have to select this. Then we have to double click here again to bring out this gradient editor. Then we'll continue clicking our randomize to choose our color grade. So we have to continue clicking. So this is it. And this is it. This is all with the contrast at the same time. So we have to continue clicking and as you can see <laughs> there are there are numerous color grades here so as you can see they are all looking beautiful let's see uh, i like i think i like this one let's hit okay for this one okay 
then let's see the before and after the color grade before after before after it's so subtle then let's see the uh, entire let's see before the contrast this is before the contrast let's see before and after before and after it's so subtle then let's let's put on the contrast layer then we can see click on this then double click here to continue the randomizing so we have to randomize to something else okay then i think i think something like this no no i'm just even confused i don't even know what to choose let's i think this one is okay let's hit okay for this then let's see the before and after the color grid this is before and this is after this is before and this is after let's see what how it's going to look on this image then we have to do the same thing to this we have to go to the adjustment layer and choose gradient map then change the opacity to 30 percent then the blend mode to soft light then double click here to bring out the gradient editor then for the gradient type you change it from solid to noise then the roundness you take it from 50 to zero then we we'll start randomizing I think like this should be okay let's bring in the contrast and see how this is going to look then let's go to this image we have the contrast here we have to carry this group and drop it on this one boom so you can see what happened here let's do without the contrast now and see the before and after the color grid this is before and this is after this is before this is after isn't that amazing then let's add the contrast so this is overall after let's hold down our alt to see the overall before then this is overall before and this is overall after i believe that is it for today if you find it interesting helpful and useful let us know in the comment section telling us the area it has helped like i said earlier if you are new on this channel please do me a favor do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button not just hitting that subscribe button also ring that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the next video thanks for watching today's video creative people keep on creating keep on creating Stay creative. See you in the next one. Bye for now.